So there will be four banks of jumps. Five. Um, Five. Yeah. Is that usual amount? Um, it can differ really. Sometimes there's even more. Yeah. Sometimes I have to be given over two days because there's so many. So. Right. Um, but yeah, there's, there's normally quite a few. It's a bit pinkish in comparison to blood bank. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite different mm -hmm. um, to look at. So. Um, what chaps do not actually get? Um. Oh, sometimes they do. Uh, they do. Let me have a look. It's on one or the other. So it is going through the pump anyway. Yeah. 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 Nine nine. Right. Yeah. They go fast. Fast as we can get uh, them. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just test it, and then like we can always add some more. <coughs> yeah, All right. We don't always write the volumes. It's a bit annoying. Right. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So this is my uh, actually second bone marrow transplant. First one I had uh, two and a half years ago. Well, almost three years ago. And transplant was a success, but it was from uh, from a sibling, and eventually it uh, it caused a relapse after two and a half years, which is quite unusual for the leukemia I've got. It's uh, <laughs> it's acute myeloid leukemia, and. Uh, and so yeah, this is my second transplant. I had two uh, courses of chemotherapy before to put the, the leukemia into remission, which was successful, which is good. And then it was uh, seven days of conditioning now, of chemotherapy conditioning, and, and the transplant. So as Dr. previously explained, I had a bone marrow donor on the releases one. And uh, and it's dripping. There will be three or four more bags uh, to do, and after that it's done. It's just a waiting game. Um, I'll see how fast the cells will start producing immunity, and then I'll be able to go home. And yeah, if you don't mind, I'll post on YouTube because. Generally, see, people are very confused. They think the transplant actually is an operation. Or, what's yeah, even worse, uh, if you yeah. don't watch uh, uh, the TV series like Doctor House or something, there's a lot of rubbish there. And people, yeah. are, and there's a lot of friends being horribly scared of being uh, bone marrow donors because they think it's... They're going to take out a big slice of your bone. Yes, uh, something like that, so... Information like that is good in, in uh, public media. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Still there. How are you? I think I'm good. Good. Um, any problems with your minds? No, not really. I, you know, this morning I had a kind of a, a warm face yeah. feeling, and that's about it. And you didn't have any problems with the camp out yesterday? Yesterday it was much less intense than the day before. Right. Okay. Just maybe some spots there and there, but apart from that, sure. nothing. Excellent. Right, I'm just carrying on what we're doing at the moment. I'm just uh, monitoring. Yeah, good. And um, yeah, we've got a, a reasonably, I think it's a very good set of those mm -hmm. which you've got. In, you mean large dose? A very good dose, yes. Is it good or bad? It's good. Okay. And um, we have stored some extra cells as well. You mean cells or lymphocytes? Uh, cells, actual cells has been stored as well. Okay. So. Do you know anything about this this bone marrow? I mean, you know, because like I asked, I asked you before, is that there are different kind of qualities of bone marrow in comparison to the donor, uh, to the donor and. Yeah, yours is the best match possible. Well, oh, always is, I presume. Yeah. No, no, it's uh, uh, the ideal, kind of more or less ideal match, except for two tiny mismatches. All right. Yes. So what we do is we do a mismatch of various parameters in your, what you call as a HLA type, you heard of it. So you, you are, your donor and you are matched for all the major parameters. It's just two tiny parameters, which isn't really important. That's not, that's mismatch. I understand. So, so you're matched. Oh, great. 
Sorry, being video. The viewer yeah, probably are not in there. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, okay, so yes, it's, it's but only the best match, it's a very good match as well. Okay, so that makes sense. Oh, that's yeah, I was afraid that one very much. Yeah, and then um, yes, so hopefully, as uh, does the donor's age matter? It does, but I can't remember what's the uh, we usually go for the younger donor, mm -hmm. but I can't remember what the age of the donor is. And we usually go for a male donor, I remember yours is a male donor, mm -hmm. and he would be a younger donor as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Excellent. There. Okay. Right. See you later. See you later. Okay, so first bath is almost over. I'm gonna be connecting another one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never met you before. Yeah. So direct to the house. Yeah. Seventeen oh one and seventy eight. The eighty three seven two. Yes. G180, 111, 180, 182, X. Yeah. And it's ST. As you can see, it's going quite fast. That's right. The whole bag is almost done when we just put started, so. There's just some um, pre made applied uh, in case you may have some reactions like rashes. It is possible, however, not happening very often. The worst part of the thing is, is the, um, that I've had it two days before is the they give you medicine which is supposed to kill your own immunity system to make bone marrow, new bone marrow cells accepted by your body, not rejected. This is called, I mean the particular drug I've had is called Campath and usually people do react to it like rashes, temperatures but in my case it wasn't too bad. I just had a temperature spike and some rash in some places. Yeah, so another bag is coming up. Just the pinkish color. It's very similar to normal blood transfusion. Just going faster, and uh, and as you can see, it's a little bit pink. What it ha what actually is happening? That the bone marrow cells are going straight into bloodstream, and then by I don't know, miraculously, they find the way into the bones, and they they settle there, and grow up and start multiplying eventually starting producing new uh, bone marrow